Rocky League moment on Cabo Bay in LA. We are talking about love and romance. It is February after all. It's the love month. But you know what? There's one place on earth where it's always time for love and it's always time to love. 365 days of the year, whether it's January, March, April, May, or whatever month it is, there's always a time for love in Taiwan. And that's what we're also going to be talking about today on the show. And earlier, we showed you some of our clips from Trip One. Guess what? We are already on our third trip to Taiwan. Welcoming back on the show, Trust Lin from Taiwan Tourist Bureau. Hello and welcome to Cover by in LA. Hello. It's nice to come back. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to have you here. And of course, Jane Stark, our travel agent partner, Travel International Group, for Travel to Taiwan with LA18 Part 3. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello, Janelle. You know, I've talked to Trust uh, so many times also in the past, so I guess my first question is to you, Jane. Um, when you did the first part with us, what was so special about that? Uh, because Taiwan has a lot of to uh, cover to see, besides, you know, uh, well known for the uh, scenery part, and we cover for the beautiful place you went, uh, Samu Lake, and the iconic Taluga Gorge, and also the best uh, museum in the world, one of the best museums in the world, National Palace, mm -hmm. and the cultural uh, entertainment place, and also the second tallest building in the world. Yes, I can one on one. Right now we're showing uh, our clips from Taroko Gorge. It's really beautiful. Yeah. And we're also showing some food. This is uh, from a small town, right? We're eating uh, yeah. very fresh food a from... A Brigino uh, village. Yeah, one of the because place. it's not just a time for love, it's also time to eat um, uh, trust what are some of the what are some of the tips that you can give us when it comes to eating in Taiwan oh. uh, before go to Taiwan be sure to lose some weight first. <laughs> yes yeah. and then when you go to Taiwan just uh, during the tour uh, they have different kind of cuisine that's the, the stereotype of Taiwanese cuisine we cannot say which one is the best but all the combination all together will become the best. It is such a gastronomic experience. Right about now, we're showing you clips from, um, earlier we were showing you clips from, um, this one is in Taifung, in right? Taifung, yeah. So Shaolong Bao. Yeah. We're also, earlier we were, ta we were showing you clips uh, of street foods. Oh. And I love the street foods, especially in the night market. What are some of the uh, must try street foods in Taiwan, Jane? Um, the Oyster omelet <laughs> and also the uh, stinky tofu. Yeah. You try it. Yes. And, and then when we go to the night market, if you don't know what the food is the best, you're just, just looking for the longest queue. Yeah. Just waiting on it. The and longest we, line. Yeah. So yeah. stinky tofu. Why is it called stinky tofu? It's not really stinky. Yeah, <laughs> actually, it's kind of stinky. Uh huh. Yeah, especially if it's a steamed one, that would be the uh, uh, most stinky one. Right. Yeah, I remember uh -huh. the. Uh, the Food channel, the, the host called Andrew Zimmerman. Ah, uh, Andrew Zimmerman, yeah. Yes. He tried everything, but okay. he was beat by uh, Stinky Tofu. Oh, yeah, when, okay. when he was in Taiwan, he, he tried one bite and said, oh, I, I can't have second bite. <laughs> <laughs> I love Stinky Tofu, but you mentioned the night market because it is also time to shop in Taiwan. And there's one phrase that I will never forget, and I use it with me all the time, the first tour, the second tour, and I'm sure I'm going to use it again for the third tour, to Sao Chen. <laughs> and that means? How much? How much? Yeah. When you shop in Taiwan, especially in the night market, what are some of the tips? Like, how much do you bargain? Do you, when they give you a price, do you say, okay, 50% off right away or 60% off? Oh the no, price? no, no. Normally, if they just mention you like 390, that which is around 13 dollars, then you probably say, how about 10 bucks? Uh, so okay. It's just cut the, the end. Right. 390, then you may be starting from 300. Right, and there's so much to see in the night market. I understand that it's not just shopping in the night market. The night market is part of the culture and tradition mm -hmm. of Taiwan. Why is that? Uh, it's kind of like uh, their daily life, like every lifestyle, day yeah. lifestyle. In Taipei, uh, in Taiwan, the motto is a shop, eat, eat, shop. <laughs> <laughs> is that correct? Yes, <laughs> shop, eat, yes, eat, shop. I can do that. I can yeah. do that every day. <laughs> and the trip never complete without you stop over to the night market. Yeah. 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 So at night, those kind of like a day, daily life for the local people. They go to the office, end of the day, they go to stop by, even in the train station, everywhere. You right. can go 
hop in to eat at, in my market. The prices are reasonable. It, especially the... To do, I'm sorry, go ahead. A lot of to do. You can shop and you can, by the way, eat and walking around. Like, yeah. There are massage places there too, like acupuncture and stuff in the night market. Mm -hmm. And what I like is the night market, they are very close to train stations. Mm -hmm. And the train, the railway, the, the train system in Taiwan, very, very safe. Exactly. And very, very efficient. Actually, the, normally the, the Namaki was started from nearby the temple mm -hmm. because the people, they, they worship in the temple and after that, they, they, they eat in right next to the uh, temple. So normally, like in Kilong or in lots of places, they started from just nearby the temple and then it become bigger and bigger. Right. So the uh, subway system even come to go go to the night market so the people can go there easily. Right. What, are, what, what is that uh, night market that's our favorite in Taipei that we always stop at? Xilin. Xilin, night market. Yes, yeah. but don't take our word for it because we actually have here with us one of the participants of the last two trips to Taiwan and we'll hear it all from her. Don't go away.